It's Friday story time, and today we have a book that I had when I was four, three, four years old, five years old, six years old. I loved this story. I loved the pictures. Same book that I had. Okay, so you ready? It's called The Three Bears. Now, some of you might know this story. I think it's a great story. Okay. Once upon a time, let's do it this way. Once upon a time, there were three bears. A great big papa bear, a middle-sized mama bear, and a wee little baby bear. They lived in a little house in the forest. They had three chairs. A great big chair for Papa Bear, a middle-sized chair for Mama Bear, and a wee little chair for Baby Bear. And upstairs, there were three beds. A great big bed for Papa Bear, a middle-sized bed for Mama Bear, and a wee little bed for Baby Bear. Ah, <gasps> there's their slippers. Mm-hmm. <gasps> One morning, Mama Bear made some porridge for breakfast, kind of like oatmeal. She filled a great big bowl for Papa Bear, a middle-sized bowl for herself, Mama Bear, and a wee little bowl for Baby Bear. And there they are on the table. But the porridge was too hot to eat, so the three bears went for a walk out in the forest. The same morning, a little girl named Goldilocks was walking through the woods. She came to the three bears' house, and she knocked on the door. But nobody said, come in. So she opened the door and went inside. <gasps> That's not safe. Mm -mm -mm. <sighs> Goldilocks saw the three chairs. She sat in the great big chair, but it was too hard. The middle-sized chair was too soft. The baby bear, the baby-sized chair was just right. <gasps> But she was a big girl, and poof, she broke it and fell on the floor. Now Goldilocks saw this porridge. Mmm, I'm hungry, she said. So she tasted the porridge. The porridge in the great big papa bowl was way too hot. The porridge in the middle-sized bowl was too cold. But the porridge in the wee little baby bowl was just right, and she ate it all up. <gasps> then Goldilocks went upstairs and tried out the beds. There was a great big bed, but it was too hard. <sighs> and the middle-sized bed, oh, that was too squishy soft. <gasps> but the wee little baby bed was oh so nice and comfy. So if to sleep. Then home through the forest and back to their house came the three bears, great big papa bear, middle-sized mama bear, and wee little baby bear. The moment they stepped in the house, they saw that someone had been there. Hmm, said Papa Bear. This great big Papa Bear was, someone has been sitting in my chair. Mm. Land sakes, said Mama Bear in her middle-sized voice. Someone's been sitting in my, oh, my chair. Oh, dear, cried wee little baby bear in his wee little baby bear voice. Someone's been sitting in my chair and it's broken it all to bits. <sighs> <clears throat> said Papa Bear in his great big Papa Bear voice. Someone has been tasting my porridge. And someone's been tasting my porridge, said Mama Bear. Someone's been tasting my porridge and they ate it all up, 
said Little Bear. We Little Bear. Very sadly. Then up the stairs they went. With a thump, 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 and a trot, 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 and a tippy, tippy, tippy. There was, that was We Little Bear. <gasps> said Papa Bear in his great big Papa Bear voice. Someone's been sleeping in my bed. And someone's been sleeping in my bed, said Mama Bear. Oh, dear, cried Baby Bear in his wee little baby bear voice. And someone's been sleeping in my bed. And there she is right now. <gasps> Goldilocks opened her eyes and she saw the three bears. Oh, she said. She was so surprised that she jumped right out the window and ran all the way home. And she never returned to the house in the forest again. Mm. Yes, Goldilocks went in a house that was not her own. Should you do that? They just broke up those people's house. Do you know what I did? We caught the three boys and I took them to the police. I did. I took them to the police. And the policeman said, what do you want me to do? And I said, put them in jail. Mm -hmm. And there were three boys. And the one little boy was only 10 years old. And they didn't make him go to jail. But they took him to the jail. They took him there. And then his mommy came and got him. But the other two boys had to sleep in the jail at night. They were so scared, they peed their pants. Daddy and nothing happened. Nothing happened and the mommy and daddy didn't punish them. And so they did it again to our friend's house. Mm -hmm. But there were a whole bunch of children that did that, but we only caught three of them. Mm -hmm. But those boys had to spend the night in jail. Mm -hmm. and you know what? I hope they learn not to do that one again. Mm -hmm. Is it because I hated them that I did that? Oh, no. No, we treat things that belong to other people with respect, right? Mm -hmm. But we never, ever, ever go into somebody else's house unless they're there, right? Mm -hmm. If they say, come in, then we come in. But you never do it unless your mama says so, right? Right, because that's the safe thing to do, right? Yep, Goldilocks learned that day. Mm -mm, don't do foolishness. I hope you like my story. I like